Well, my goodness, we are in a playoff chase. And is it because of yours truly? Can I can I take some credit for the team being in a, in a race for the first place in the division and this team potentially making the playoffs? And it, I, my eyes are terrible, but it looks like that's 39 points, which is level with the Winnipeg Jets. Coach, you got to put me in in a game against Winnipeg. I'm good old reliable over here. Well, I hope to be good old reliable for once for this team because I have honestly been anything but reliable in the goal crease. And you know, oh my God, I forgot to turn off tethering. Let me do that. Okay, so I, I went to change it and apparently there's a thing called hybrid tethering. I don't even know what the hell hybrid tethering is, but let's try it. Oh, I have not seen a shot yet. I get so nervous facing shots in this game. I should be hyped to, to face an opportunity to make a save. And the key part is I actually have to make that save when, uh, when there's an opportunity to make one. Oh, he missed the net. That's a big break. That is the biggest of breaks. I, it was, and that was Kale McCarr, I think. Or was it Devin Tapes? It was one of the defensemen. For the Colorado Avalanche, who had a chance to absolutely light me up. Pucks moving all over the zone. Of course it is. This is the Colorado Avalanche we're playing of all teams. Why on God's green earth do I always get slated to play this Avalanche team? Oh, what a goal. That was a nice setup from behind the net. We went to get possession after they won the faceoff. Somebody stripped somebody of the puck. It was Verona who scored the goal. But who made the good play behind the net? I can't tell. Is that Hayes? It is Hayes. Hayes takes the puck off of Sheary. And then he finds Verona standing net front. Well, as I was going to say before we did score that goal, I am going to be slated to play Colorado uh, a bit more frequently, at least for a few seasons, because I'm back in the West again, playing for a Western Conference team in the St. Louis Blue split save. My God, dude. Every single time... You got to make a save. We got to use that groin. He's a little too excited to use the groin. I know that feeling. And, you know, sometimes putting your balls on the line, I, I this guy is, he's a bold man. Balls made of brass or something. Steel balls. I know goalies wear a significantly stronger jock than any other player on the ice surface. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to be putting it to the test that frequently. Wait until Shea Weber. I know he's retired, but... Just wait until a Shea Weber level player gets a hold of one. And you're making a groin save. Oh, I just got pushed into and then we did a spinorama breakdance move after getting bumped into. What's going on in this game? That's got to be a penalty. It wasn't. There's some weird physics collisions happening right now. This is Sherry off the wing. Back door. I don't think so. I do not think so. This is Cairo off the wing. What is... Gorgiev is doing break dancing too. This is a goaltender's dance off right now. Yeah, bust the move, buddy. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. I can try to play. I tried to play the puck. Forget about skating to the bench for the extra attacker. I will become the extra attacker. I wanted that puck so bad, man. And now, and I'm even more hyped because Sandstorm's playing. How can you not? How was that blocked? Oh, man, Klingberg tried to straight knock that down. I think I asked in the last episode how Klingberg is a blue, and that didn't seem right. Well, it's not right, because Klingberg is um, he's a Maple Leaf in real life. I did not even know that. 100% had no... That would have been a crazy save. I don't know why you didn't take a shot, but uh, I don't know how I didn't know that. Klingberg! What is going on with the goalies right now? That was pulled off the goal line. EA's just gone over the top of the goaltender stuff this year. They really have done a number on goalies this year. And it's cost me. Ryan Reeves into the corner. Ryan Reeves on Colorado was a choice. I don't know what hybrid tethering even is. I don't even know if it makes a difference. Oh, it does! I oh, what a good save. Where we could have given a costly rebound to... Uh, no, I don't know who wears 94, but he is back checking like a mother right now. And he got right. It's Johansson. And he got a good turnover to end the period. Well, how about that? Well, unscathed through one. Through one period of play. Unscathed. It's the Avalanche. 
Don't get carried away. That's gonna, that is going to quickly be erased. I'm not going to get a shutout in this game. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. It might even end on this shift. Oh, my. McKinnon back and block down. Get on your feet. Guy loves to split that groin out. You keep splitting your groin like this, your career won't last five years. Those hips, you're going to need a hip replacement surgery before the age of 25. Big save. Good rebound. Not today. I like my game. I really like my game so far. What did the camera do? I come out of the crease. What did the camera do? I came out of the crease in a weird, funny way. And the camera tilted toward the corner. I don't know what that... That might be the new hybrid tethering. Oh, God. Here comes Landis God. We got back in time to prevent a breakaway. Please, this is not the time for semantics. This is not the time for your semantics. Bad turnover to Ronton, and that transition game is strong until he lost the puck. Slapping one on, block down, get on your feet. Oh, you want me to fight? Do you want me to fight? Why did the fight prompt come up if I can't do anything about it? I can't fight normal players. I can only fight the other goaltender. Listen, Gorgiev, you don't want to fight me, believe me. I know my guy, and knowing him, he might want to put you in a headlock using his groin or grab the puck out of the air. What a save. Byram, you, you would have had a breakaway. He spun back toward his own zone. You get that or I'll get it. Okay. Justin Falk, you're not as bad as Ryan Graves, but you're, you're, you're a very close second on that play. Here we go. And the Avs are starting to find their feet offensively. I'm starting to find my rebound game. I really am. My rebounds have been pretty stellar so far. And it, see what happens when you get the rebounds under control? You have a shutty going. That would have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Oh, yeah, look how fast I move between the posts. Most people would get exhausted doing this. My guy, no, he's got 100% endurance. In fact, the endurance bar is going up. Look at my post-to-post -post movement. Oh, my God, he didn't even... <laughs> how in the world did I, I... He didn't even drop Butterfly to make the initial save. I laid on my side, and he still got the cover. This is a completely new world for me to actually be able to make saves, control rebounds, and... Pitching a shutout. Just say the word. I'm pitching it through almost two full periods of play. God, McKinnon, that's the guy that will end everything. Oh, oh it's behind you. <sighs> Sweet mother of pearl. Never do that to me ever again. Avs first line taking us to task. They got the offensive flow going. Nice hit by Justin Falk. I could have cleaned up the loose puck. Oh, the beat was about to drop, and the linesman had to ruin it. He had to go and drop the puck just as the beat was going to drop. It was going to drop so hard on Sandstorm, Darude Sandstorm. And two periods of play, can you believe it? Two periods of play down, and a goose egg for your boy. Not exactly the tallest of mountains to climb so far with seven shots faced, but an avalanche of beautiful saves on all seven shots, and that is... A pun intended, considering we are, in fact, playing the Colorado Avalanche. And Nathan McKinnon, don't go ruining my dreams. I, I've been thinking about this the whole season. The potential result of this game is the third period now. I didn't think it would be this real. And there it is. It wasn't McKinnon, but it was the captain. It was Gabriel Landeskog. And that's what happens when you flail around like a moron. I didn't deserve that. I really did not deserve that. And you know what? I, I I don't even know what my thought process was. Well, I do know what my thought process was. He fanned on the original attempt, and he got it right back. I'm telling you, I would have had that, had that initial try. Because Gabriel Landeskog tried tw twice on that shift. And that was McKinnon, wasn't it? Or is that McKinnon? Yep, that's McKinnon. Oh, no, no, no. Is this what I get for saying the word shutout? Is this what I get for being cocky and arrogant on seven shots face and, and making an avalanche pun to begin the period? Come on, man. I mean, I have given it a full effort tonight. The last one was a one-timer now. But the first one, the first one, you can understand. Here's what happened. Landis Gog tried. He, f he got his initial attempt, I, attempt, I think, got blocked. And then he got his second try, and that one went home. But that was partly on That was really largely on me for flailing around like I just did again. Oh, I went to poke check, and there was nothing to poke check when I finally got there. 
We need to work a lot harder than this. We need to restore that lead. Gabe, back to Taves. Down low. I don't know what's going to happen, so I just drop Butterfly. Drop Butterfly and hope for the best. That's, that's been my technique for most of the season. God, Makar. Going right through the D like it's absolutely nothing. And I, in, in all of that sequence, I never needed to make a save. Or should, I, should I use my amazing ability to... I forgot what it's called. Instinct. <laughs> should I use my instincts? I'm using my instincts. Sherry to Nishushkin. I used instinct. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Well, in this period, I have been easier to undress than a drunk chick on a Saturday night. Where has it all gone wrong in this period? I mean, I don't know what's going on anymore. I've just given up basically three straight goals. You know, no, 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 no. Get back in the net. Stay in the net. I don't even trust my own D. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about coming out and playing the puck when it gets loose like that. Just, that's how little faith I have in my team in front of me. We're going to lose this game. It's a good thing we have our place in the, in the standings. Get up. That was a good save, but you got to get up. You're not going to get a 900 save percentage out of this game. I'm sorry. Oh, that was a good one on Rontanen. And the game just gave me that quick whistle. It felt sorry for me. I got way too cocky way too soon in this one. I, I, I couldn't wait for the third period to play out to start trumpeting about how good I was in this one. And it's come back to haunt me. Oh, look out. Look out, Ross Colton. Ross Colton! No! That was beautifully done. Why, why, I didn't... Why does R1 do that? But it, it bailed me out. Forget flying poke check. I'm just going to do whatever R1 does. And Colton has, is actually going to flip this down. I got it or not. I'll block Colton. Get behind me. It's a set play. We've actually almost got a turnover. Because of me. We should be using this power play to get ourselves back in the game. Or at least give our, ourselves a chance. And we're gonna we're gonna not score. We have an empty net. Oh wait, we have an empty net. I didn't know we had an empty net. Oh, that's me <laughs> with the net empty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get back, get back. Okay, now go. Good God, <laughs> I I wanted to pass it to a teammate. <laughs> get let me in. Let me. Oh my God, let me in. What's going on? The referee got in the way. Nishushkin empty net goal. I, w I was at the bench. Coach Brashear, you got to tell your players to open. Whoever is in charge of opening the gate. What a what a disaster third period. Oh, we don't know what we're doing in St. Louis. None of us do. Ah, oh, what an absolute disaster show on home ice. And the game's not over. I got one more save to potentially make. I made that one. Oh, get back in the net. That's a goal. Good save. Good stick by number 15. I'm skating to the bench this time. I'm out of here. In the showers early. I'm gone. Let me in. That was an all-out disaster class. And I am the professor. <laughs> that game set me back at least at least five years. That game is going to take five years, just, just that one game, to overcome that performance. An F. In team play... And overall rating, but to be fair, you know, one of the goals, you guys didn't even let me in the bench and you had an empty net. You had pulled me for the extra attacker and you didn't even let me in the bench. What's going on here? Oh, where in the skill tree do we go? It Positioning? Sure. Why not? Oh, it just gets worse as we have turned the page on another year. We're now into the 2024 calendar season or calendar year. Well, I, we can't get to the 2024 season soon enough. But before we do that, we got to play the Boston Bruins. This is a 25-12-4 Bruins team. It just gets better, doesn't it? I'm going to have to take up my offer from the Amish quite seriously. Well, you know, that's the last straw. Tethering is gone. It's off permanently, entirely. I don't know if I could say permanently, but it's definitely off entirely. And I haven't had to make a save yet. At some point, somebody for Boston will probably score a goal in this game. I went two whole periods in that last game. We were making progress. But you know that progress quickly erased by what was a four-goal third period. Should have been only three, but, you know, we had a moment where, despite my best efforts, I skated to the bench, and no one opened the gate because I, EA didn't program that in the game, apparently. 
Oh god, with tethering off? Holy crap, I forgot. No, we don't even need to see this comparison. You know, with tethering off, I gotta remember that I'm in full control over my depth. And I get to I get to really control my depth. And it doesn't automatically recenter himself. I have to actually bring my goalie back to the middle of the goal crease, back to the middle of the net. It's really nice because I can... I feel like I can... That was an absolute missile by Pastor Knock. Listen, I mean, he piss missile that thing through me. I felt like I was playing the angle. I was playing the angle really, really well. Uh, or so I thought. We need an instant replay, like in the actual replay to see how bad we fanned on it. So here's me. Okay, I'm kind of moving myself. You can see I'm not even close. I'm way... I'm playing the post. I'm overlapping the post. I should be at the center of the net. I moved myself back over, but you can see from this angle, I'm trying to get it, so just bear with me. There's a lot of net there. I did not play that appropriately. You know, we haven't been playing with the angles cheat on, but it might be time to bring that back on. So you know how as a goalie, there's a thing, I call it the angles cheat, because it gives you what the angle, well, oh no, it's on. It's totally, I wasn't even playing an angle on that one timer, and it gave, the game felt sorry. It gave me a pitiful save. <laughs> on that one time chance but the the angles thing is on i didn't even realize it was on on the pastronaut goal it shows you about how much attention i'm really paying but it is on actually i didn't realize it but there's no reason for me to god my i'm not i'm i was getting used to the tethering system and now i've got to get used to the non-tethering system the other aspect of this thing that sucks is genuinely no joke here there is a freaking fly a like go figure on the television screen and he looks it looks like the puck man there, there's some good saves going on in that boston goal crease by Olmark. we'll see how long he can keep that up with full pressure extended to the blues now and that's a penalty full pressure and you take a tripping penalty this is not the time to do this to me there's a fly on the tv screen the tethering system is completely turned off i'm still learning that angles is actually on just let me let me get my feet set for a moment you know, we're killing a penalty. And we've been spending this entire beginning to this penalty kill in the Bruins zone. Pasternak, not going to piss missile one through me this time. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Goalie is so awkward without tethering on. It really is. You're in really good control over your depth. But the movement is so... It's your way to... Okay, that's what that button does. It's your way to make your goalie move faster. I'm going to just hug the post, and then we'll come out on that angle. Okay. It really is. It's like i got to figure out how to move all over again. Because I got so used to the way the tethering system worked and recentered your guy in the net. It brought him all the way back and uh, squared off his depth a little bit. This one's going to be centered. Oh, that was centered through the crease. So interesting little play from Marshawn. Oh! My goodness, what in the world? The, <laughs> did the puck cross? The net certainly came off. What a weird scramble play for the puck. This overhead is going to be great. Oh, the puck was on the side of the net. Look at the rebound. And it, it, then Klingberg gets pushed into the net. That was an interesting play. I, and, and honestly, that was quite a realistic play. That's a tripping penalty for sure. That How is that not tripping on the Bruins? Pericos all day to shoot. Shoots five hole and an easy save for Omar. 10 shots in this period. There's another one to make it 11 from the St. Louis Blues on Allmark. He's been put to the task. 4.5 seconds. You guys, if you can't get something through or have a shot not get blocked, I don't care if you don't score, but we'll have wasted this full pressure if we don't get something here out of this. That should have been in, and that's how the period will end. Allmark standing on his head right now. I'm having to battle and compete with Linus Allmark, and it's just no competition. And when you get goaltending like that, there's a reason the Bruins have the record they have this season. They've got really good goaltending in this game. If he's playing like this the whole season, they're going to be a good shot for the Stanley Cup. And I'm in the middle of my net. Bring it on, McAvoy. He missed the net. My guy is so slow on his recovery. That's one thing that I've noticed. His, his, he's not moving his feet quick enough on these recoveries. I don't even know if that got... Nope, that's McAvoy's goal. And that is the second one from far out that has beat me clean. And again, I felt like I was there. I felt like I had the angle. You see the little drop pass. And I'm not playing the angle. I know, obviously, I'm not. I didn't. I would have made a save if I was. 
God, that's about how it's been with no tethering on. I mean, do we turn it on again? I don't know what to do. This first season has just been... <laughs> that, that's the first se This is the first season summed up. I'm just diving at pucks now. I almost made a save on that. I have a feeling I was close to getting a save on that Marshan chance. But, you know, he's coming in all, all alone. Hot on the wing. I had to do something out of desperation. I have not, not made a save in this game, and I'm shocked that I haven't been pulled yet. Man, I, this is what I look like in freaking beer league sometimes. I came way out, though, which was the right thing. Come out, challenge, cut down the angle. We're pretty good right here until he dives. It's the moment he dives, he look at that arm move, and that blocker exposes that area. That desperation save almost worked. It really almost worked, but it's just not enough right now. All right, we're just going to use the rest of this game as a little, I guess, trial and see how well we, I got. I can't outplay. You couldn't even outplay Olmark with the freaking tethering system on anyway. I'm going to use what time I have left in this game because I'm probably going to get pulled very quickly. Believe me, I need to be pulled. But we're going to use this as a chance to just figure out how to play without the tethering on because I have not played this game as a goalie without tethering on yet. This is the first time doing this. And yeah, it's very dramatically different, but you don't have that precision movement. Oh my god! Oh my... That, re that rebound went off of Perico, and I thought it was going to go into the net for a moment. I mean, I one thing I like is I like that you can really control... Like, you're, you can really get way out there. You can control that depth, as long as he stays on angle. Um, but you can really get out and challenge the shooter like we did on Marshawn. We just should have not done whatever the hell we did. Get up. It's not time to be displaying what we did. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to show something, and the Bruins are bringing the puck in on the attack. All right, Butterfly push across. Pasternak. It's, I mean, I'm much more involved in the game without the tethering on. I do admit that. I, I just wish my movement was better. And that's part of the problem with Season 1 and 2 is you're just not a good enough goalie. You don't have the stats. You don't have the ratings. And you don't have the speed to be able to keep up with these NH NHL-level players. Keep that in mind. I'm not an NHL goalie, really, right at this point. My guy should not be playing in the NHL. So it would make sense that he would struggle. Why EA makes you go through this struggle is beyond any understanding of mine. But it's just it's one of those things we just got to go through. We just got to deal with it. How is the glass going to break on that? Shades of Lucic on... I want to say it was on Colton Orr, but I, I could be totally incorrect of who uh, Lucic steamrolled into the glass in that game in Boston. And we've taken a penalty back in our own... Uh, or back in the attacking zone, we took a penalty. Some of the worst penalties, offensive zone penalties. This is it. This is, this is where my night ends on this Bruins power play. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the instinct will save me. Instinct, come save me. I just saved... I almost saved myself. God, we, are, we cannot do this without tethering. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Until we get a better overall rating, we cannot play this game without tethering. Where was I? I was at... I dropped, but God! I, that was the most awkward play. Once the puck got jarred loose, I was way out of position. And there it is. I've been pulled. Thank God. I knew that was going to happen. This is, this is what happens. You put an AHL goaltender who should be on the bench, really, riding the bench in the AHL, playing NHL games. Well, we tried something. It didn't go well. Nothing has gone well. It's season one. Um, and this is, this is, unfortunately, it's going exactly as I expected it would. It really is. And uh, I just need to ride Pine for the rest of the year. Open the gate. For all the players coming in off of line changes.